Welcome to the Artisan Empire, where we talk about coffee. Welcome to this week's episode of Question and Answer. Uh, this week we have interesting questions, all or both, uh, about uh, anaerobic fermentation. So we will be tackling each and every question or each question uh, separately. The first question came from Mr. Issa in Dubai. Mr. Issa uh, said, Joseph, what or how can you describe anaerobic fermentation? What is anaerobic fermentation? So we'll tackle that question. And the next one, the next question uh, came from Ethiopia from a good friend of mine, Nabiu. Nabiu, if you're watching this, we answer the question. So first, uh, before we answer the questions, please subscribe, share, and like. Please put a, a, a comment in the in comments. Mr. Mr. Issa. He says, so you say, Joseph, brief, briefly describe what is anaerobic fermentation. Anaerobic fermentation is whereby they put deep out coffee in airtight sealed tanks filled with water with the process that will also involve the minimum or the exclusion of oxygen during the fermentation. What actually happens is in those airtight airtight sealed tanks in those airtight sealed tanks filled with water filled with water and the deep hopped coffees all around inside the tanks what happens is Carbon dioxide is infused or pumped from the bottom of the tank and this will force oxygen to be released from a valve that is actually on top of this tank. So carbon dioxide is actually infused from the bottom of the tanks to push oxygen out. Right? This is because carbon dioxide is actually dense or heavier than oxygen. So the inclusion or the pumping of carbon dioxide inside the tank will push the oxygen to be released through a valve. The valve is only an outlet valve. It's only an outlet valve. It doesn't, it allows only the oxygen to be released out of the tanks. So there you go, Mr. Issa, that is your answer. Please, Stay humble and enjoy the coffee. Because of the metabolization of the sugars and other compounds by the microorganism and bacteria, they leave behind products like ethanol and other different acids. These are converted or absorbed by the cellular structure of the seeds or the green beans. Those green beans that when they come to us as master roast masters, we play around to give and highlight all the flavor notes of the coffee. This is the aroma, the citrusy, the flavors that you get from each and every coffee. There you go, Mr. Issa. I hope you are answered. Please stay humble and enjoy good coffee. The second question comes from Nibeu, who is in Ethiopia, is a couple. Uh, he says, Joseph, have you tried some of the experimental coffees like the anaerobic Ethiopian coffees? Uh, actually, yes, I have tried. I have been cupping uh, this weekend. I have some coffees that I was given in samples, so I cup tested them during the weekend. So uh, today on this show, I want to brew one uh, and I share the notes that we got. Uh, during cupping and now so i will be making a v60 uh, pour of a method of this ethiopian sidamo uh, helum varieta so uh, i will be sharing all the information and i will be crafting it on here uh, here we go uh, 
I have with me my anaerobic Ethiopia Sidamo Elim Varato to grow with you and share with you guys today. I have with me my Akaya scale set and ready. My V67. My V60 funnel, my V60 paper as well. Prepare it. I have with me two kettles one with hot water at 92 degrees at the moment, four at the center to settle down the paper. While it's settled and stable, I rinse all along. I rinse the paper, make sure it's all rinsed. So that was my hot water at 92 degrees. So I have rinsed my paper filter to remove the papery flavor and warm my vessel. I will throw away the hot water out, put back everything on there. I also got another kettle with cold water. The reason is the paper with all the heat that has gone into there, it has been stretched. So the cold water is there to contract the cells of this paper so that we don't have dust. I want clarity. I want my coffee to be very clean. So that those stretched elements of the paper, I need them to contract and solidify. Picture yourself as taking a shower and you have your pores opened up with hot water. So cold water can also contract. So still, my vessel is still warm. Mm, ground and fresh Sidamo Elum Varato Dosage of 18 grams My dosage of 18 grams. Uh, give it a distribution a little bit for even extraction. Tear the weight. My water now is at 90, which is still fine, brewing temperature between 85 to 92 degrees. So this coffee was roasted one week ago, so 90 is still okay. My time, I would like to put 50 grams to allow blooming. 50 grams of water for 30 seconds to allow blooming the loss of carbon dioxide right coffee is still degassing so it will lose those carbon dioxide this is what i really want to do so i've poured 50 i want to use a ratio of 1 is to 13 so 50 grams poured in so i'm left with 184 i'm left with 184 uh, grams in total because I want to pour 234 in total. So I uh, will have the second pour, I'll pour only 92 grams. I need a flat bed, so I'll give it at least 30 seconds while it is settling up, down, then. I pour the rest of the 92 uh, grams left for my, my, my extraction. I am on one minute, uh, 15 seconds. I want this brew to be between two minutes or four minutes. Right? At least, let's, let's see where it, it will get us to. So I want, still, I am actually 
enjoying a, ba a bouquet of aromatics, right? In this in this uh, brewing already. Now the second or the last to make it to 34. I'll make sure towards the end I'll play around the center, circling, but strictly on the center to enhance sweetness. 234 exactly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use a cupping bowl to test this coffee together with a cupping spoon. This process, the anaerobic uh, fermentation, uh, breaks down sugars and elevates sweetness right, in uh, fruit acids for greater recognized sweetness. And let's find out. My brewing time, my total brewing time is 2 minutes 50 seconds. And my flat bed, really, really amazing. As felt, in the ground coffee, a bouquet of aromatic floral aroma. So I'm going to use a cupping spoon to enjoy and cup this coffee and test we did a proper full cupping set in the weekend so i just wanted to share with you what i found and i want to note how it will be in this Hand picked berry sweetness. Wild honey. Cognac and candied fruits. So there you go. This is actually an amazing and it is a coffee for those or oh, for the adventurers. It is very, very different, very unique. And um, Brother Nebiu, I have actually tasted the anaerobic coffee and thank you for the question and hope to connect again soon. Please stay humble and enjoy good coffee. Thank you for watching, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next week on another program of question and answer. Please let the questions come in through through our applications, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Inbox, Instagram, all my accounts. Please share and ask questions so that we discuss and we talk about coffee. Bless it.